Hey, Jonathan here. Let's understand watertight meshes as we learn to model in Rhino for complete beginners. Let's do it. Using the file provider, let's make sure that we select the second to last row and go to isolate. Then we move over to perspective. We select the whole thing and we go to zoom selected. Now we want to zoom in the 5.1 exercise. Notice how both of the meshes look the same, but I promise you they are not. The problem here is that some mesh somewhere along the way, something got broken or you were not able to properly click dot on dot. So when you move your model to the slicer in three, for 3D printing, there's a, there are catastrophic mistakes that you do not understand where they're coming from. So this is a trick for those of you who are willingly and able to really model closed surfaces, watertight surfaces, to think in solids, to think in the physical world, this is for you. It means that you really tried, but somewhere hidden, there's a small problem. So we can twitch the tolerances. Basically, to see this, to see the problem, we need to activate a command called show edges. This command will do nothing. It will basically just show you which edges are naked. So let's click on the left model. We say, okay. And then you see how it says here, there are no naked edges. So we want to see the naked edges. It's showing us nothing because that model is actually perfect. This is definitely 3D printable and it's actually ready to go. Show edges. Then let's select the model on the right this time and click enter. Notice how now we have a couple of edges that are lighting pink. That means that those edges are naked. Naked edges means there are edges of a solid that are not touching with each other. So basically imagine if you take this virtual model, submerge it in water, the inside of it will be full of water. That's what you never want. You never want to send a, a non-manifold object to a slicer because you're going to drive it nuts. So in this case, for you, the one who really modeled this properly, I have a trick. This command is called match mesh edges. It basically, what it's doing is, imagine this is one edge and this is another edge and they're touching, but not really, but this is very, very, very small. So what this command is going to do is going to blow on each edge and tell it the second you start touching each other, connect. That's it. That's what it does. So that way at the end, it will solve those teeny tiny problems that are impossible to find. Try to see if this fixes your mesh. So let's do that. Match mesh edge. Select the meshes we want to match, this one here. Set the distance to adjust to the highest possible, which is 001. Make sure that ratchet mode is on. It's not getting to that, just trust me. And click done show show edges this one enter we can see there are no longer naked edges because the model has been fixed it's always a good idea to go and check out we never know what this program can do in this particular case but it looks just fine let's move along to the second kind of problem we're now going to move into the realm of being a little bit more manual but maybe we get out of this trouble easily as you can see now we see with our edge analysis, we can see that we have a couple of holes. If you don't see it like this, make sure to start the show. That way this appears and you say add objects, you click on it and you enter. That way I can see the naked edges. As you can see now, we basically have one, two, three, four, five holes. There are different shapes and sizes and uh, we need to fill them. So let's try something automatic, which is called fill mesh holes we select the mesh and now they're all fixed Ta -da! hopefully this solved your problem if it didn't we're gonna have to go real manual i kept one here with the same kinds of holes but now i'm going to show you how to repair them one by one add objects select that one enter just to visualize the holes in the script i left you three four good ideas on how to do it so Let's step right in. 
First up is patch single face. For example, if you have three continuous edges, you can definitely make an, a face out of it. So let's go with patch single face. Then we zoom in, we select edge or vertex to make the face. One, two, pop, and it already picked it up. That's it, we filled that one. For example, if we try that one again with the space bar, you see how you have here, this is a square that it's harder for, harder to, so let's pick one edge on this side and one edge on the other and whoop, you see, it already picked up this one. Now we only have this little tiny here and that square there. Now let's keep going, let's try another command. Fill, mesh, hole, just one. So we select one here. Now we can repeat this command with the space bar and see if this is going to fix the rest of the problems and it does. Now bear in mind that this exercise was prepared for you to find the holes. Best practice is always to remember, mostly as an architect, we have to think about virtual models as existing as long as they have a thickness and they're watertight. If you just model a surface, they don't exist in the real world, so there's not much we can do. We don't have much use for them as architects. If we were graphic designers, for sure. If we were animators, we would have no problem whatsoever. But if we want a 3D printer model or show or actually build a building, it needs to have mass. It needs to be watertight. The mesh just needs to be close. I hope this helped. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,